I'm going to finish off tonight's show with a nice question on first principles and then follow directly by a question um, that they asked you on tangents. Okay, the question says the following. They give us a function. They say f of x is given as x minus 2x squared. And they ask us the first question for six marks is to determine the limit when h approaches 0 of f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 divided by h. That's a six mark question and the second half is hence find uh, the equation of the tangent, TGT stands for tangent, uh, 2f at the point where x is equal to 2, and that's for a further 4 marks. Okay, now I'm sure you guys would have seen this first definition. The limit when h approaches 0 of f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 divided by h. You guys are just used to seeing it with an x in that position. You're used to seeing f of x plus h minus f of x over h. The only difference is now they told you that instead of working with an x, your x is now 2. You're going to do exactly the same stuff than what you did when you did first principles with x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Remember the difference between the two things. f of x plus h minus f of x is a change in y value and then the distance of the difference between my two x values is h. So it's nothing other than a gradient. If we look at this formula just by itself, that is an average gradient between the two points x and x plus h. In our case here, the point 2 and then h units away from 2. And if I then take the limit, it becomes instantaneous. So it's in fact then a derivative. Okay, let's fall away. Our equation. Let me just get rid of this. Our equation that they gave us was f of x is x squared minus 2x squared. So I'm going to say fine. I'm going to do it bit by bit. The first thing I want to find is the f of 2. So what is f of 2? Go to my original function. I make all my x values 2's. So I get 2 minus 2 times 2 squared. Now 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8. If I take 2 and I take 8 away, I get an answer of minus 6. Now I do the same for the second part, f of 2 plus h. What is f of 2 plus h? All your x's in here becomes 2 plus h's. So I get my 2 plus h minus twice the 2 plus h all squared. A little bit more work that I have to do over here. 2 plus h, now I need to square the second bracket. I get h squared plus that times that times 2. Remember, if you're squaring a binomial, this multiplied by that multiplied by 2. Don't be silly and under exam stress say that this thing squared is h squared plus 4. Don't forget about the baby in the middle. Okay, we get 2 plus h minus our 2h squared minus 8h. If I multiply those two and then minus 8. If I quickly add my like terms minus 8, and this 2 gives me minus 6. There I have minus 7h and minus 2h squared. Now I've gone and I've worked out my two y values. Now my formula tells me subtract the 2 and divide the answer by h. Okay, so f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 divided by h then will give me this minus 6 
minus 7h minus 2h squared. Now be careful, a double negative. My f of 2 was minus 6. All of that divided by h. And you guys can see minus 6 plus 6, those two are going to cancel each other out. And at the same time, you guys are so good at doing these questions, take out your h immediately. Don't waste time. Minus 7 minus 2h over h. The h's are gone. And you have minus 7 minus 2h. Now, the trick here is not to stumble over here with your negatives. That's the first thing to watch out for, guys. The second thing is that there's a negative in front of that squared bracket. Don't say this is h squared plus 4 because that is not the case. And also don't forget that that negative changes every sign in that bracket. Don't just change the first one and then carry on and say it's 8h positive and 8 positive. When you guys get to this step, that is where you check yourself. Or you can actually start checking yourself at that step. Your constants are always going to say goodbye. And each term that is left must have an h in it to remove that h at the bottom. If once you've subtracted there's another term, let's say with a 4, you've made a silly mistake somewhere. Go and look for that mistake before you continue. Okay, I've got my average gradient and now I can take my limit. Limit when h approaches naught of f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 over h is nothing other than negative 7 because that h becomes zero. Now this is important. What does this answer tell you? Usually if you take the limit f of x plus h minus f of x over h, it gives you a gradient. Now that gradient can be anywhere on the curve. At our specific place, this gives me the gradient which is minus 7 at the point where x on this graph is 2. Now if I go back to the top, that comes to the second part of my question. Hence, find the equation of the tangent at this point. To find the equation of the tangent at that point, I need to know the gradient of the tangent. I've got the x value for the point. I am just short one more bit of information, and that is the y value. So I take my 2 back into my equation, x minus 2x squared. It goes in, I get my 2 minus 2 times that 4, and that gives me a minus 6. So I've got enough information for my tangent. I've got the y value of the same point where it touches, I've got the gradient. So immediately I can say y, be careful of your double negative, is equal to the gradient of the tangent x minus 2. All that's left is now to distribute. So y plus 6 is then minus 7x plus 14. Kick your 6 over, you get minus 7x plus 8. And there's the next four marks of this question. Okay, guys, first principles, that was a derivative at point 2, gave you the gradient. Once you've got the gradient, you just had to find the y value of the point of contact. Okay, it's been lovely spending this hour with you guys. Remember, you can phone us every night from 5 o'clock onwards, 08600 627. And then a reminder for all the teachers, and if you guys will tell your teachers about this as well, on the website, the web address, www.call-er.co.za, there's some wonderful educational resources specifically regarding the portfolio management. So teachers, please go to that website, I'm going to give you the web address again, www.call-er.co.za. We'll be back with you again tomorrow night.